Hi everyone. Um, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to do a project with you today. So if you can see that the maker is cutting out right now. Um, it's working on a project. I've already cut out some faux leather and some black iron on. What we're going to do is I'm going to make this like a cute hanging um, sign for the sewing room and it says some cute sewing words which I'll show you. It's cutting out in white right now. So I'm going to start weeding this. I hope you can hear me. I put on a microphone um, while that's cutting. It's actually almost done. So I'm going to get my bright pad and I like to use my bright pad too. So this is done and I will weed this in just a second. And this is done so I can get this out of the way. So I'm going to start weeding this. This is a sewing sign. Um, it's cute um, to hang in your sewing room. I know that Cricut also has like a, I think there's a crafting one, but this one is pretty much if you sew or quilt. I think it's a really great tool to have and um, I've loved having one in my sewing room. I think it's really great. My kids love to trace pictures and so it's kind of a fun extra activity and I'm pretty sure like you can drop this on the floor, you can drop it down the stairs and it like doesn't ever shatter. I don't know what it's made out of, I just know that it is um, like shatterproof. So here's the first one if you can see. I don't know if you can see from far away here. These are like little hearts but they look like they're cross stitched so it's going to be really fun on the picture. So I have a Cricut maker but this project uses Cricut's um, it's like their faux leather. I would say it's probably similar to what's that stuff um, it's like paper backed and then it looks like leather on one side, but it's, I would say it's similar to like, um, cork. What's that like cork fabric or that cork stuff that you can use? So I did black iron on. This is just like their everyday, um, basic iron on. What's it called? Everyday Iron On Light, I think. But this, the white I did is the Iron On vinyl. And I really like using the, um, the, did I say Iron On vinyl? It's glitter Iron On vinyl. And um, I really like to use it. I think it looks really good, except I think it's really, really hard to weed. And then, so I still have the hearts, but we're gonna do this one. So what I like to do, this is like um, not, I'm pretty sure Cricut doesn't say to do this. I like to cut my whole sheet and then I cut out right around my design so that I can preserve as much iron-on vinyl as possible. Um, I just feel really wasteful when you use all of it. So I still have this big piece to use. And then this is what got cut out. So I don't know if you can see, let me hold this up so I can show you. So can you see, can you see the cuts through? See how that you, the light helps you see the lines. Cause when you're working with the glitter, it is so hard to see those um, cut lines, but I'm just, um, I have to weed out the extra from this first. So I'm weeding all this extra so that you, so that we can get to the design.
So can you see that? I think it's, so it says stitch, thread, quilt, sew, hem, fabric, and it has this really cute um, thread thing. So can you see how cute that is? Isn't that so cute for like a sewing room? I love it. So I'm going to turn on, this is a tiny, this is the Easy Press 2, it's the really little one. And this is the Easy Press mat. So that I'm going to use to iron this on here. Um, and I have to look up, actually, I'm pretty sure the settings, if you're using this leather, the settings are really low so that you don't burn it. So I'm going to turn my settings down. It's like 270 for something this light. And what I'm going to do first while this is heating up is I'm going to, I want to create a casing at the top for the um, stick I'm going to use, which I have right here. So this is what I have, and it's pretty, it's barely wider than my leather, and I have the thread. This is not thread, this is like twine or something, I don't know what you call it. So, yeah, I think this sign is so fun for the sewing room. It's so great. So, I'm going to um, fold it over like five eighths of an inch, and I'm just going to carefully sew it really fast. And then we'll iron it on because I don't, I want this to be folded over and sewn before I iron it on so I get everything in the right place. I've sewn that. I used white thread because it was in my machine and I was going fast. You can do whatever you want. You can also, you know, you could add stitching all the way around if you wanted. You could add, I've seen it where people add like pom-poms or tassels. This would be really cute if it had two tassels hanging off the end, like each point. And I will say, this leather is, like, it looks really great. This is not real leather. Like, this can't go in the washing machine. It can't, probably can't even get wet. So this is just, like, people use this probably for, like, scrapbooking products. You can't even use it as, like, a bag, I don't think. But um, you, instead of using leather, you can use felt, you can use canvas, you could use quilting cotton. If you have a really pretty quilting qu cotton that you want to use, you can use, like, anything. If you had a piece of wood, you could iron this onto a piece of wood um, and hang that up. Like, the, you have a lot of different options that what you could do to instead of using leather. This is just, I really love leather. I love working with it and I love looking at it. And it's something I know that I will enjoy having in my sewing room. And so that's why I chose that, to do leather. So if you can see, I'm going to start placing this on. So I have my cross stitch hearts on. And then I'm putting my the letters on, and I'm trying to get it all lined up evenly. And then I, it doesn't stick very well with this leather. So I'm going to move it like that. This is, I don't know what Cricut calls it, but this is like their... Teflon sheet. It protects the iron from whatever your your easy press or your iron from whatever you're working with. I actually also use this for sewing because it kind of has weight and it's kind of see-through. So when I'm ironing something and I need a press cloth, I actually use this a lot because it's a great option. So I'm going to get this going. Oh, I forgot to change the time. So my easy press is warm now and ready to use. And there is a larger one, but this one works just 
just fine for what I'm doing. It works great for the video. And I'm hoping that this, um, the Easy Press, I'm hoping when, since I'm using it on the leather, it's going to help straighten it out a little bit and make it so it's less curled. Okay, so I missed a spot down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna do it again down here. Hey, that looks great. I think it's working. So these two are ones that you can peel off when they're warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off since I can and I don't have to wait. And so far, it is looking really good. And everything has fused and looks great. So if you are jumping on, oh, it looks, it looks so great. But isn't that so cute? I just, it's so fun. It, it, and you see those hearts at the bottom. What a fun sign. And then all you do, this is a, um, what, are those thing, what are those things called you put the food on to grill them? A skewer or a, a shish kebab. So I have a ton of these that I bought years and years ago for craft projects. And I just cut off the pointy end and then I just slide it right in. And you just want a little bit poking out on each side like this. And then I tie a string to it, but this has a knot. So I'm going to cut this knot off. And then I'm going to tie this on. And that is the project. I think it's sometimes you really need those easy and quick projects for you know, that quick satisfaction to help you feel like you did it. Sometimes this is all the time you have for is a, you know, like a 15 minute project. But those sometimes are the best. And then sometimes you want something a little bit harder and something you can <clears throat> work on for a while. You people who do quilts are amazing because that takes so much time and patience and that's amazing because I do not enjoy quilting. How cute is that? Look at that cute sign. If I, this is flipping up a little bit, I would just iron that some more. If you're having problem, then you can iron it some more, but that is the cute sign that you can make and this is glitter, so it would look great, you know, if the light hits it. 